A system of equations is a collection of equations that involve the same variables. The equations y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals negative x minus 3 are a linear system because both equations use the variables x and y. Let's graph this system. Both equations are written in slope-intercept form, so the slopes and y-intercepts of the relations can be easily determined. The y-intercept of the graph of the first relation is 3, so we'll plot the point 0, 3. The slope of the graph of the first relation is 2, so count rise of 2 for every run of 1 to determine other points on the line. Although only two points are required to graph a linear relation, plotting more points usually produces a more accurate graph. Now draw a line through the points. The y-intercept of the graph of the second relation is negative 3, so plot the point 0, negative 3. The graph of the second relation has a slope of negative 1, so count a rise of negative 1 for every run of 1 to plot the other points. Draw a line through these points. This is a graph of the system. Next, let's determine the solution to the system. A solution is an x value and a y value that satisfies both equations. We know that the blue line represents all the ordered pairs that satisfy the equation y equals 2x plus 3, and the green line represents all the ordered pairs that satisfy the equation y equals negative x minus 3, so their point of intersection is an ordered pair that satisfies both equations. The point of intersection occurs at negative 2, negative 1, so this is a solution to the system. Finally, let's verify that negative 2, negative 1 is a solution by checking that it satisfies both equations. Let's check y equals 2x plus 3 first. Start by entering the left side of the equation into the table. Substitute negative 1 for y. Now enter the right side of the equation into the table. Substitute negative 2 for x and simplify. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. The left side is equal to the right side, so negative 2, negative 1 satisfies this equation. Now let's check y equals negative x minus 3. Enter the left side of the equation into the table. Substitute negative 1 for y. Next, enter the right side of the equation into the table. Substitute negative 2 for x and simplify. Negative negative 2 is equal to 2, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. The left side is equal to the right side, so negative 2, negative 1 also satisfies this equation. Negative 2, negative 1 satisfies both equations, so it is a solution to the system.